Hey folks, it's John P. from GeekBeat TV. Welcome to my home theater. Today we're going to take a look at the Martin Logan Electromotion ESLs. Come on in. So before I really get into reviewing these things, I want to tell you that in the last 20 years, my wife has never made a comment about a speaker before. That is before I put the Electromotions in this room. Now, the interesting thing is she immediately, the second that they were turned on, said, wow, those sound good. So that tells me that these are speakers that take people who don't really care about speakers and turn them into people who do. Now let's talk about why that's the case. So let's talk about electrostatic transducers. I know that sounds really technical, but it's actually a pretty simple uh, thing to explain. We have two, two different major components here. First of all is the stator. That is really just a perforated metal panel, and you can see there's one on the front, and there's also one on the back. You may be able to see my hand through here. And the reason you can see my hand through here is part number two, which is a very thin electrostatic diaphragm. I've actually got a piece in my hand. You may not be able to see it. It is so thin. It is one-eighth the thickness of a human hair, or 0 .0005 of an inch thick. Now what happens is this membrane is sandwiched between the two perforated metal sheets and an electric current is passed through to this membrane causing the entire membrane to move forward and backward. The way you would normally see a speaker, a normal speaker cone, like this subwoofer or this woofer down here. You may notice that right back here, the speaker is plugged in. Well, that's not a normal plug. It's actually a low voltage current that's being fed to the electrostatic panel because it needs that just to get it started, even though the amplifier in your receiver is going to take over from there and you know you can push as much power into it as you want. So this panel handles reproducing all of the frequencies in the upper and the mid-range down to about 500 hertz and then this woofer takes over. But what happens is this woofer moves in and out and it's a big, round, heavy piece of material, whereas this diaphragm, the whole entire thing, weighs less than the air that it is moving. It can move extremely rapidly and that allows it to produce the entire range of frequency throughout the entire panel. It's just an amazing design, it sounds phenomenal. Okay, so now that we understand how these electrostatic panels work, let me tell you how they perform. First of all, the sound is extremely crisp all throughout the range and with a very wide dispersion pattern throughout the room here. So at any point within the seating environment, you get the full range and it's just amazing. Very, very crisp, very, very tight. Now when combined with the subwoofer, it adds astounding amounts of bass, but we're gonna to get to that subwoofer in a separate review. These ESLs will run you about 2,200 for a pair, which is by far the least expensive uh, set of speakers that will render this quality that I know of, that I've ever listened to. Um, also, they'll handle between 20 and 300 watts. Because they're so efficient, you can, you can use a very small amplifier, but also because of their design, if you've got a ma massive Macintosh or some very large system, go ahead and fill them up. You're not gonna blow these things out. Finally, one thing you should know is they will require about a 72-hour break-in period 
after you get them going because the parts that they use in the, in the woofer at the bottom and the transducer, etc., they, they need to kind of loosen up a little bit so they last for a long time. So it takes a little time to break them in. Now, don't get me wrong, they still sound amazing right out of the box, but they'll get even better after about 72 hours of usage. Okay, well, there's only one last thing to do and that is, since I've never heard anything that sounds this good at this price point before, by the way, thumbs up to you guys over at Martin Logan, we are going to award the ESLs with Geek Beats Editor's Choice Award. Well, that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel over at youtube.com forward slash geekbeatv, and we will be bringing you all the rest of the Martin Logan components in addition to plenty of other reviews. And by the way, give us a thumbs up if you like this one. Take care. Rawhide! Oh,